What's up everybody, Simon here. Today in this video, I wanted to go over and compare the two famous credit cards, the American Express Centurion card and the American Express Platinum credit card and let you know which is better or which is my choice if I could have one. Before I get into this video, go ahead, hit the like button for me and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell to get updates on my videos. As always, I appreciate it and let's get into this video. Okay, so the Centurion card comes at a hefty fee. If you wanna go ahead and watch my Centurion review videos, there are many and they're here shown on the screen, updates and unboxing and so forth. This is a very cool credit card to have. In fact, it's stated that there are about 100,000 credit cards in the world. So only about 100,000 people have this credit card with about 20,000 people or so in the United States. I suspect that number to be less since they raised their fee to $5,000 annually and a $10,000 membership a one-time fee. The Platinum card is a little bit more obtainable. It comes at a $550 annual fee. You get some sign-in bonuses up to 75,000 membership points plus 10 times on gas stations and supermarkets in terms of points if you spend $5,000 within the first six months on this credit card. What I like about the Platinum card as well is you get five times the airline points. But let's get into some details of why I think, and here it is, drum roll please. The Platinum card is a much better credit card than the Centurion card. This is just a hard to get credit card that you may set your goal on, but overall Platinum gives you much more for the price than the Centurion card. So let's get deeper into this comparison, okay? With such a hefty fee with the Centurion card, you would think you would get much more, but that's not the case when comparing these two credit cards. So the Platinum card, as I mentioned, comes at a $550 annual fee, plus 10 times on gas stations and supermarkets in terms of points, as well as you get five times the airline points versus American Express Centurion card only gives you one point per dollar when you're booking travel. What I really love about the platinum card is you get five times the points when you're booking airline travel okay we use this a lot to book a lot of flights with one of my companies you could check out that video as well my 10 million dollar company that does travel so we use this platinum credit card to earn more points all the time those points are also five times points on hotels as well as long as you book with the american express travel program you're getting those five times uh, your points which is incredible guys that's a big difference now you get access to over 1300 lounges worldwide including American Express Centurion lounges which are my favorite lounges I've done some videos describing this card and showing some pictures of the lounges as well one day I hope to do a review when things open up on a Centurion lounge here in San Francisco maybe in Los Angeles but you get access to over 1300 lounges that's in 140 countries and they're all different lounges through the priority pass program both the platinum and the centurion card give you access to those lounges now with the centurion card at a centurion lounge i've been uh, able to receive gifts when i check in so they gave me bose speakers headphones and other fun things and you get a really nice champagne as well that's a premium grade champagne in their bar area so i don't know if that's worth the big fee but those are nice little perks now you get $200 in Uber savings annually that gets applied as a credit to your Uber app account. That's with both credit cards. Both credit cards give you a $100 fee, which I used or credit towards Global Entry or TSA. If you get Global Entry, you're gonna go, uh, you're gonna receive the TSA as part of that package. So you're able to skip those lines while traveling or go through a different line that's TSA approved with Global Entry approved versus the traditional passport line if you're traveling traveling internationally. Excellent program. It renews every five years and a great benefit or credit. With the Platinum card, you get up to $100 annual Saks Fifth Avenue credit. That's not much because that's a high-end boutique store. So you're not saving much money there with the Platinum card. With the Centurion card, that goes up to $1,000 to help pay some of that big fee off. So if you add all those benefits and all the travel credits and everything, it, the card is over $1,500 in incentive versus the $550 fee. 
So the bottom line is the Platinum card clearly offers a lot more incentive than the Centurion card or the same incentive as the Centurion card for a lot less money. The Centurion card is really a card that you have for clout or to get that really premium concierge team which sets it apart from the American Express Platinum card. Now the Centurion card also gives you some additional benefits as well which we will go over. Redemption points are also a big thing with the Platinum card you're getting one cent per point transferred to airline partners and with the Centurion card you're getting 1.5 cents per point which is a big difference so you're getting 1.5 times your points when you're transferring to certain airline partners that's a pretty big incentive as well depending on what mileage programs they have now one day i'll make a mileage video to determine which airline partners are great or how would you get a first class flight for a lot cheaper than if you were to go to another location etc now I've discussed lounge access and you could also bring up to two guests with you when you're using your Amex Platinum or Centurion card. You could also bring children as well. You could add authorized users with Amex Platinum and Centurion. Now if you want to get an additional credit card with Amex Platinum, it, there is an additional fee that is lower. I believe it's $250. Don't quote me on it. With the Centurion card, if you want an additional card, say with your wife's name on it, it's an additional $5,000 a year. So you could be paying $10,000 a year just to have this card for yourself and your wife i find that to be unnecessary and really expensive both cards come with the fine hotel and resorts program so you're you know even though you're paying more for the centurion you're not getting any additional benefit at their fine resorts and hotel program quality rooms late checkouts uh, early check-ins upgrades and so forth both credit cards have that which is nice so you know with the fee again the platinum wins centurion does step it up with the quality you'll be greeted with a special agent um, that would walk you to your flight and so forth if you're traveling internationally so there's a personal guide that helps you out there are other amenities if you want to know more about those amenities check out my uh, centurion review videos which go into detail of what the card offers now with the centurion card you're also getting a lot of additional benefits that make up that five thousand dollar fee so there's an equinox membership I believe that's valued around $3,300 or $3,200. Again, you could check my detailed review of the card. You're not getting that membership with the Platinum, but if you're not using the gym membership, then it doesn't matter. That's a big hefty fee that they're saying offsets the cost of this card. So if you have your gym at home, you've got your own gym membership, that does not matter. The $1,000 SACS credit is really good, but it's always done $250 per quarter. So they separate it where if you buy an expensive item, for $1,000 at one time, it's easier to obtain that credit than to plan out $250 purchases every quarter. Plus Saks Fifth Avenue, for example, the quality of the stuff and the costs are really high. So you're always over that $250 tag most of the time. The surprise gifts are really nice. They send in little gifts here and there, not necessarily major gifts, but we've gotten, for example, credit to a, a really known uh, clothing store for $500 credit. We would walk in, you use your gift card there and you would walk out with a nice pair of shoes or whatever it may be. You don't get that with the platinum card. That's done typically about once or twice a year that I've seen it uh, happen. But overall guys, the platinum card in my opinion really takes it over the Centurion card. I would personally not say that the amount of benefits on the Centurion card outweigh the Platinum card's fee. This is one tenth of the price of the Centurion card with no $10,000 membership. Even if you take $10,000 and you divide it by 10 years, that's $1,000 a year for 10 years plus $5,000. I mean, if you have the Platinum card, say for 10 years, you're paying five grand in fees. If you have the Centurion card for 10 years, you're paying 60 grand in fees. That's how much of a difference there is in between these two cards and the benefits. I think Amex should step up for the Centurion card. They're going to charge so much money. They really need to throw in a lot more in there than just an excellent, and I mean excellent, customer service and concierge team. I feel like they should give you more incentives or maybe incentives that everybody would use. A gym membership is a great incentive for that $3,000 fee, but not everyone goes to the gym. Anyway, for me, the winner is the Platinum card. If I didn't have the Centurion card, I would definitely have this card. It's my go-to card. Pretty much all of the same incentives, better travel points, a better fee. It's more attainable, more affordable. You still get lounge access. You still get your upgrades in airlines, better travel points. You get your car upgrades, your hotel upgrades, your late checkouts. You're getting the TSA credit, Uber credits. 
this is a great card. So if you haven't applied for it, go ahead and do so. In my opinion, it's probably the best card out in the market today. They may be raising the fee of this credit card because it offers so much for the price in comparison to the Centurion card that I find the American Express will eventually raise the fee just like they did for the Centurion card. Anyway, I love both credit cards. I would never give up my Centurion card unless I had to. I still use it all the time and I enjoy all the benefits where that, that fee gets covered. But uh, from there, you know, I can't say it's a great investment. Overall, I hope you like this video. I think uh, you guys will agree with me that the Platinum card uh, for the price gives a lot of bang for buck. And I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. So if you did, go ahead, hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. I'll do more credit card reviews in the future. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you.